Hey, hey, Blue Table fans, Sean here. It's been a while, so, hey, let's take a look around the studio. Hmm, 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 yeah, nothing, nothing very exciting. So, uh, I'm about to take pictures of this Guild Ball project. Uh, my sons and I have taken up Kill Team, and I gotta tell ya, I, I love this game. Oh my gosh, it's fantastic. Basically, this is the most skirmishy of skirmish games I've ever seen. And quite frankly, it's a little surprising coming from Games Workshop, you know, that they generally do like over-the-top stuff. But yeah, you only need five to ten figs for this game. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing. Basically a box set of guys. And... Uh, yeah, so I haven't played a game. My two teenage boys were playing it here the other day. These are the Skitari that come with the set that my son painted up. And quite frankly, he's, uh, he's, getting, he's getting pretty good. He's uh, 16, and he's ripping it up. These are some Tau I bought off of eBay that are part of the Studio Tau Army. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty awesome stuff. So you're going to see these Guild Ball. Oh, also, I painted up these raptors, but, and this is level two painting, like, it couldn't get any more basic than this. And uh, so, this is, uh, this is Mom right here. I made them into little sort of cockatrice spawn. This is a uh, green dragon, half dragon there. This is a War Machine figure, a little chipped up. I've been play using it to play D&D. This is all the D&D figures and just miscellaneous stuff that I have. Um, I think I've shown you some of this already. This great green dragon. I had so much fun painting this. It was the best. A little bit of conversion here. Got some Tyranid spines where the rider would be. This is an Infinity figure that's going to become a Starfinder character. A uh, blue dragon, half dragon for our D&D game. Very basic paint job on that, by the way. And uh, this is my son's Dwarven Bard. And, uh, yeah, well, anyway, I could talk about those miniatures for a while, but I'm not going to. So, really, nothing to see. Uh, I did pick up secondhand these really cool shelves. Nothing on them yet, but I'm going to get everything organized into here. Oh, and here's some of my son's artwork. Look at that. Isn't that cr oh, here, let me see if I can show it to you better. There you go. Isn't that crazy? It's awesome. He does, he like takes people's faces and does weird stuff with them. So let's see, is this, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what this is. So anyway, all right. Well, not much to say just here by myself today. Uh, all the artists have gotten their, their, uh, are, you know, are working on their projects. So it's pretty, pretty exciting. Yep. Oh, I got a new backpack. I'm, uh, I'm pretty stoked. My old one was green, and I gave it to my son. In fact, why don't we take a look at it? Why not then? And, uh, by the way, we've been doing... Um, oh, yeah, here it is. Nothing exciting, really. I don't know why I'm showing you all this stuff. It doesn't... It's not really... It's not really gaming-related. Um, yeah. So, don't know where I was going with all that. Well, anyway, oh, check this out. My 13-year-old uh, son started in on Thousand Sons, and he, uh, he base-primed them all gold. Probably not the best. By the way, I'm watching, I don't know if you noticed back there, but I'm watching uh, The Dark Knight. Just as good the tenth time as the first. So, um, all right, guys. Well, that's all I got to say about that. Look forward to a really cool video about these uh, Guild Ball figures. I'm pretty stoked for those. And uh, if you'd like to set up a project, you know where to find me.